Okay, first of all, last week, we learned about the Blackwood Convention. And the Blackwood Convention is a convention that you use when you think, based on the bidding that you've heard so far, that you and your partner have 33 points. Because 33 is the magic number that says, I think we have slammed. Just like 26 is the magic number that says, I think we have four hearts or four spades, if there's a fit in those suits. 25 points is the magic number that says, I think we have three no trump. If you haven't found a fit in a, in a, five, in a major suit, eight cards in a major suit, 28 or 29 would be if you had wanted to have a fit. In, um, so, um, so if you think, based on the bidding, that you and your partner have 33 points together, then you can use the convention called Blackwood. That is if you have a fit in a major suit. I'm sorry, shouldn't say major suit, in a suit. As long as it's not no Trump, you can use Blackwood. And the convention is, I'm going to say for no Trump. Whoever is going, whoever thinks there's a slam here can say for no Trump. And that's simply a question. Partner, how many aces do you have? There's no confusion partner is not going to think you suddenly wanted to play a no trump. If you had suddenly wanted to play a no trump, you wouldn't have done it at the four level. You would have done it at the three level. That's game. This first bid no trump at level four is simply saying, partner, how many aces do you have? We may have a slam in the suit that we've agreed in. And your partner will answer with either five clubs, five diamonds, five hearts, or five spades. And if you look at the bidding scale and you start with four no trump, that's the next bids up the bidding scale. Clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. And they all have a meaning. Five clubs is saying, partner, I don't have any aces. No aces. Or partner, I have all four. You will be able to tell, trust me. Because the only way he could have all four is if you have none. And if you have none, then you better have a whole lot of kings and queens for you to have 33 points together. You will not have a problem figuring it out. If he goes up the bidding scale one more and says five diamonds after you say four, no trump, that's partner, I have one ace. Five hearts is I have two aces. And five spades, I have three. I think you'll agree those are the only possible amount of aces you could have. Zero, one, two, three, four. So if you have five aces, playing pinochle. Not bridge, okay? He's gonna count how many aces you told him you have, and it's the amount of aces that he has, and make a decision whether slam is possible. Obviously, if you don't have all three out of four aces, don't go to slam. Because remember in slam, you can only lose one trick. At level six, you can only lose one trick. Six and six is 12. That means if, you have, if you're missing two aces, slam is not, a, is not a good bet. So in that case, if I had agreed on a fit of spades with my partner and I asked my partner how many aces she has, and I have one, and I said four no trump, and she comes back five diamonds, she only has one, right? One and one is two. I would not go to six spades, but I would have to bring it back to spades because she just bid five diamonds. If I pass, we're playing in diamonds. Not a good idea. So I would then bid five spades, bring it back to spades so we're in the right suit, but we're not in slam. And the fact that I bid five is telling her, I know we don't have slam, just stop bidding. If on the other hand, she tells that I know that we have all four aces together, plus I think we have even more than 33 points, like 37 points, that's enough for a grand slam, usually. Level seven. I don't suggest that you explore it, but there's information on what to do next if you think you have 37 points. It's in your material from last week. I don't want to spend any class time on it. I will stop now for questions. A couple of questions. You can unmute yourself if you don't want to raise your hand. 
What if the suit? No. What? What if? What if your suit was was diamonds and the person answered that they had one? No, the person answered that they had. So you know, two. so so they say five diamonds to say how many aces they have, and and you only have uh, two aces. No, 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 no. They they had two aces, so they said five hearts. But your suit is aces, diamonds, and they're answering. No, Sandra, you're not five. getting what I'm saying. Okay. Don't use blackwood, and I, I, I please hear this. You don't use blackwood unless you've agreed on a suit. You've agreed what? on the suit. The suit is diamonds. The suit is diamonds. But you're yeah. asking for no Trump. I yes. said for no Trump. My yes. partner answers me a five parts. Yes. We don't have enough to proceed. So what do I say? Oh, we That's, don't have enough to proceed to um to the next to level, level six. The words, to level yes. six. So, then yes, we're screwed. I'm, 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 then we're screwed. Okay. All right. Here's your answer. Okay. Good question. Thank you. <laughs> You have to bid six. Okay. All right. <laughs> Can't leave it in five hearts. Right. Not unless hearts was a secondary suit. Not unless you had been bidding both diamonds and hearts. Yeah. Okay. So I don't care. I'm going to leave it with her. Sometimes you're just screwed. What can I say? <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's take a look at page 24. And. I think we bid it out, but we didn't talk about the play of the hand. So I had North was the dealer. North had three and eight is 11, 12, 14 high card points and two points for the, uh, one for the extra spade, one for the extra diamond. We had him open one spade and he passed. Me, I'm, so, I'm sorry, and what page are we on, 24? Yes. And it's the second hand or the first one we're doing? First one. I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay. So North says one spade, East passes. South has five, eight high card points. One, two, three, four. Well, South has a ton of extra points because don't forget, there, I think I explained this last week. There's a fit of hearts. No matter what North has, there's a fit of hearts because there's enough hearts. But South is just gonna say two hearts for now to show her suit. Certainly has enough to go to the two level. North says, okay, you didn't like my spades. I certainly don't like your hearts. He has no idea how many hearts she has. So he shows a second suit and says three diamonds. At that point, if North has enough points to keep bidding, because showing another suit at level three is pushing, right? That means that North doesn't have a single, a little flat hand of 13 points. If he's pushing and introducing a new suit at a higher level, he's got to have something really pretty. So she, so when North says three diamonds, she says, well, we have enough to go to four hearts because we have a fit in hearts. I've got a void, which is five points. I've got a singleton, which is three points. Remember those dummy points once you have a fit. So there's eight points in dummy points plus the high card points, she has enough to go to four hearts, especially with her partner's bidding. So her partner says, okay, my partner can go to four hearts all by herself with, with me bidding. I'm gonna ask for aces. So she says four no trump with her two aces. And South's bid is five clubs. Partner, I don't have any. It comes back to North and North says, well, if my partner doesn't have any and I only have two, we're going to stop. And I'm going to say five hearts, which says stop bidding. All right. So the contract was five hearts. Since South bid the hearts first, first South is declarer, which makes North a dummy, which makes who leads? West is on lead, right? West is on lead to the dummy. And I don't think we discussed no, I don't. the lead. Okay. So what was, what was bid? Spades, hearts, diamonds. Those were the three suits that were bid. So club sounds like a good lead. Plus she's got six of them. We're talking about West. So maybe her partner's out. Somebody's out. Not her partner. Right? So she leads a four of clubs. So four of clubs goes down on the table. North puts her hand down on the table 
and South makes her plan by counting her losers. She can lose two tricks. She's not in six, she's in five. So she has to make 11 tricks, which means she could lose two. So let's see where she's gonna lose it. Well, spades is for sure, right? She can't do anything but the fact that she's missing the ace of spades. Hearts, she doesn't lose anything. Diamonds, she has a chance of losing the queen. She's got the ace, she's got the king. The queen might fall when she plays the ace and the king, but she could lose the queen of diamonds. That would be a second trip. And in clubs, nothing, because she's void in clubs. Oh, those voids are so sweet. Okay, so let's see what happens. Four of clubs down on the table. North plays low, plays the, well, actually, I think, I think North is going to play the eight. Maybe she's thinking, maybe East is going to be afraid not to play the ace because maybe he'll think I have the jack, right? He doesn't want to play low. He sees the queen sitting in the dummy, right, guys? He sees the queen sitting there and he knows he has the ace and the king talking about East but he doesn't know where the jack is. And if he plays low, he may lose to the jack. He doesn't want to do that. So he has to play the ace. Especially also when your partner leads a card, third hand plays high. When your partner leads, you play your highest card. So he's going to play the ace. And you know what's going to happen. South is going to take out her three of hearts and there goes the ace. Okay. So, so far, no losers. She's going to lead from her hand. And since she has a singleton ace on the board, there's no point in leading anything other than her smallest heart when she's pulling out hearts. Because as soon as you get control, you try to pull hearts. So she plays the four of hearts. West plays the two. She plays her singleton ace from the dummy. And East plays the 10. She's been counting. She knew she was missing three hearts from the beginning. She saw two hearts come out from the opponents, which means that there's one more outstanding. Let's pull it out. But right now she's in the dummy. So she's got to get to the hand, right? So here's her perfect opportunity to try to finagle another trick and maybe even make six. I know she didn't bid it. So the best way to get to her hand is, well, she could play a club and trumpet in her hand, right? But how about a diamond? You like that diamond? What if she plays the jack of diamonds and plays low if East plays low? It's called a finesse. It's what we're supposed to be doing today. <laughs> Let's play the jack of diamonds from the dummy. If East plays the queen, South plays the king, takes the trick, and still has the 10 and the nine and the ace in the dummy, doesn't she? What do you think South's going to do? I mean, East's going to do. Is East going to play that queen? I don't think she is. Because if East plays that queen, and she figures that North wouldn't be doing that unless she also had the king, if she plays the queen, she just made the dummies 10 and nine good, right? So I think what she's gonna do is play low on that jack of diamonds and hope that South makes a mistake and plays the king on it. Because East is trying to make her queen of diamonds good. I hope you follow me. Jack of diamonds from North, low from East, second hand usually plays low anyway. And South is gonna play that three of diamonds and cross her fingers that that queen is not sitting in West. Because if it is, she loses the trip. She got lucky with her crossed fingers. Six of diamonds comes down. Her jack is good. She's not going to lose that diamond now, is she? But you know what? She's not in her hand. Not in her hand. Not yet. So I don't want to play it. So now I'm going to play that club. Now I'll play that club to get into my hand. Queen of clubs. Is East going to play the king? Yes, otherwise the queen of clubs will take it. 
king of clubs from east does east know it's going to be trumped yes it was trumped on the first trip right clubs was trumped on the first trip she knows it's going to be trumped but she has to play the king on the queen otherwise she wins it with the queen this way at least she uses up a trump south trumps it with well here's the thing i'm gonna have south trumpet i'm gonna have south trumpet with a with a king you know why she might be thinking might be thinking what if west led that club because it was a singleton i don't want her to over trump me and remember the jack of hearts is still out you guys following me can you just wave your hand or something if you're following me? Something? Okay. So let's have her trumpet with the queen of, king of hearts or queen of hearts. She just needs to keep a high heart for the other ones, uh, Jack. But nope, West was not at a club. So that's not why she let it. She has to follow suit with the club. Okay. So now South's back in her hand. What does she want to do? She still wants to get out that last, dot, uh, that last heart, right? So she pulls the queen of hearts out of her hand. West throws off, I think West is gonna throw off a spade. It's a little It's a little um, message to her partner. That's my good suit. You just played the queen twice in two different hands. No, I did not. You played the queen last time. You can't play the queen this time. I did not play the queen of hearts before. Yeah, you no, did. No, I did not. This is my second time playing hearts. If you thought that, you I don't know what you're saying, but you're wrong. All right. She led the ace of hearts first. She played a low heart to the ace the first time. She didn't play hearts after that. Then she played a jack of diamonds. Then she, play, she played a queen of clubs before, not a queen of hearts. Okay. Whoever said she that? She has no clubs. She couldn't have played the queen of clubs. She had oh no clubs. Oh, my God. Please, please. I can't do this. She she led, she played a, a low club on the club lead. And then when she, then she played a jack, then she played a, a low heart. She trumped that club, played a low heart to her ace, played a jack of diamonds from her hand and played low from, uh, from the dummy and played low from her hand. Then she led a queen of clubs. And East uh, took it, not took it, but East uh, beat it with the, with the ace. She trumped it. Now she's in her hand and she's and she plays um, a queen of hearts from her hand. She trumped that queen of clubs with the king and now she plays the queen. Okay. Queen of hearts from her hand. West throws off the seven of spades. She throws off um, a low spade from the dummy. And the jack of hearts, the final heart, comes out of east. There are no more hearts in the opponent's hands. So she stops playing hearts. So what does she have left in her hand? She has a six of spades. She has those diamonds. Those beautiful diamonds. So let's get those diamonds good. Unfortunately, she has to get to her hand to, to finesse the diamond. If she leads the king of diamonds now, she's not going to get the queen out, is she? So she has no choice. Unfortunately, she has to do that. All right. King of diamonds. She has no way to get to her to the dummy. If she if she plays the king of diamonds, East plays low. Oh, East plays low, but then she still has the ace. No problem. King of diamonds from the from the uh, hand. Eight of diamonds from west. Four of diamonds from north. Seven of diamonds from east. Okay. East now has one diamond left, and it's the queen. And north still has her ace. Five of diamonds from south. Um, a low club from West. Ace of diamonds from North. And 
East plays her last diamond, which is the queen. Comes out on the ace. North still has two diamonds left in her hand, uh, in the uh, dummy, right? See the 10 and the nine? Can anyone beat them? No, because the jack, the queen, the king, and the ace have all come out. So let's play that 10 of diamonds. What will East play on it? I don't really care. Spade, that low spade is meaningless. What will South play on that 10 of diamonds, guys? The spade. Get herself void in her hand. So if they if any spades were played, she could trump it. She throws off the spade. What is West play on the diamond? I don't care. Club. Now, what does North have left in her hand? She's got a nine of diamonds and she's got four spades. What does South have left in her hand? Only Trump. It matters not one bit what North leads now because anything she leads, she can Trump. So how many tricks has she lost? Has she lost any tricks? You can unmute yourself and tell me if she's lost any tricks. Did she lose any spade tricks? No, because she got herself void in her hand by using her good diamonds to throw off the spade. She loses no spade tricks. Did she lose any heart tricks? No. Did she lose any diamond tricks? She could have, but she finessed the diamond, made her, made her diamonds good. Did she lose any club tricks? No. No. She made seven. Sometimes <laughs> you make more, which is you saw you saw how those singletons and the void helped her so much. So she made seven. Does that mean seven was the right bid? I don't know. Depends no. how brave you are. Henrietta, I'll take your okay. question. Okay. So what if what if West had decided? to lead that ace of spades rather than the low club. I'm, then she would lose just the one trick. Okay, so here's, here's the thing. If they had gone to six, I want everyone to hear me. If they had gone to six, she absolutely would lead that ace. She would lead the ace and hope that she would have the king afterwards. As a matter of fact, if they had gone to six, it's a good chance that West would have doubled she would have doubled because she has two tricks in her hands, right? Right. In her hand. So if they had gone to six, West definitely would not have led the club. She would have led the ace of spades and she would have gotten a trick, but she wouldn't have gotten the other one because South only had one spade. Uh, right? Yeah. yeah. And Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not going to take any more questions now about this hand. If you have uh, other questions and they're not answered, uh, you can always send me an email. I'm going to go on. Hand number two, I'm sorry, I, we have to get through this. Hand number two, West is the dealer. Please take a minute and, be, and bid out the hand. If you have a question about the previous hand, you can put it in the chat now while people are taking a minute to bid out the hand. Or you could send me an email.
one more minute. So make a decision based on the combined points and combined cards in the suit. And yes, there should be the use of black wood in this hand. Okay, let's, let's do this together. West is obviously passing, right guys? West is passing. West has five, six points. North has a very pretty one club opening bid. She has seven, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14 points with distribution. She counts nothing to the void in diamonds because there has not been an agreement on a suit. East has really lovely, I mean, long diamond suit, but not enough points to make an overcall. South is going to do something called a jump shift. A jump shift means when your partner makes an opening bid and you have a very strong hand, 17 points or more, plus you have a really strong suit, you can do a jump shift. So what that means is jump as it indicates means you're skipping a level. Shift as it indicates means you're going to a different suit. So the jump shift here over one club would be two hearts. Instead of bidding one heart, you're jumping, you're skipping a level to two, you're shifting from clubs to hearts. So South's response is two hearts. Now let's see if she's, if I'm right, if she has the right to do that. She's got seven, 10, uh, in spades and hearts, she has 10 high card points, plus seven is 17, 19 high card points, right? Plus, plus two extra points for the ex two extra hearts. She's got a ton of points. Absolutely can do two points. All right, jump shift. You're responding, you've got 17 or more points and a strong suit. One club, pass, two hearts, pass. Well, says North, my partner has seven, has uh, 17 or more points. I've got seven, nine, 11, 12 high card points. Now I'm counting my void, right? I'm counting my void. Why can I count my void now? Because my partner showed me a strong heart suit and I've got four, says North. You guys see it? So North can ask for aces. And South knows what it means. If it goes one club, jump shift two hearts, four no trump, the only possible reason for bidding no trump at the four level like that is saying, how many aces do you have? And the only possible reason North would be asking for aces is if she thought there was a fit in a suit and 33 points. So North says four no trump. Somebody unmute and tell me what South's response is. Five diamonds. Incorrect. Oh, I'm in the wrong hand. Six hearts. Five hearts. Five, 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 five hearts. Five. Partner, I have two aces. Can I ask a question? Not until we're finished. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, South says, five hearts. Partner, I have two aces. North says, my partner has two aces, and I've got one, and I've got a void. And if North knew for sure that one of the aces that South had was in spades, because that's her bad suit, she might even think about going to seven, yeah. right? Because 
who need, I mean, you know, if, if South has the ace of spades, it doesn't matter if South is missing an ace of diamonds. If that's the ace she's missing, who cares? North has a void. But North doesn't know which ace she's missing. And, and in fact, if she did go to seven, she wouldn't make it, right? Because the ace that she's missing is the ace of spades. The ace that South is missing is the ace of spades. Oh, well. So North will immediately go, I'm sorry. Yeah, North will immediately go to six hearts. And that should be your contract. And will they make it? Hell yeah. And will West lead? with an ace of spades, hell yeah. And that's the only trick they get. Ace, oh, that person who had a question, go ahead, ask it quickly. I was gonna read. Yes, I had them get to six hearts as a, as a contract, but I had North indicating to her partner three hearts, bidding three hearts to indicate she had a fit knot. And then South but saying- But the four note, note Trump asking for aces is telling the same thing, but it's also indicating the strength of their combined hands. Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? I'm not going to ask for aces unless I know there's a fit. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I'm not sure they would end up in slam if uh, she said, if she big, bid weekly like that and said three, three hearts. I don't know. Maybe. But I like, I, you know, they say in bridge, the one who knows goes. You know there's a fit. You know there's the points. Go ahead. Don't wait for your partner to do it. So West is gonna lead that ace of spades, North's hand goes down on the table and South makes her plan to only lose one trick. The only possible problem that she sees is the spades. She knows that she's gonna lose that first spade. And she knows that if West plays back a spade, she'll take it with the king, right? But that queen of spades is still out there lurking in the dark. And she has three spades in the dummy and three spades in her hand. So she could possibly lose that queen of spades, except she's going to get rid of that third spade on what? On a club? On the diamonds. On the diamonds. She could do it on the club. She could get rid of the club, uh, the spade in her hand yeah, yeah, yeah. on the clubs in the dummy. Or mm -hmm. she could get rid of. Yeah, it's fine. Could the people that are talking not do that, please? She could get rid of the spades in her hand on one of her high clubs in the dummy. Everybody see that? Or she could get rid of the spades in the dummy on one of those high diamonds in her hand. Because remember, when she plays an ace of diamonds from her hand, she can't follow suit with a diamond in the dummy, so she can throw off a spade. I'm seeing some nodding. That means you guys get it. She's got all kinds of places to get rid of those spades. And that's it. I don't even have to play it out. Does she lose any heart tricks? No. Does she lose a spade trick? Yes. That's it. Very first trick. And then she can basically what they call claim, which means she says, look, this is how I'm going to make the hand. And she puts it down on the table. But on this hand. Any chance you could just quickly go over what would happen if North bid three hearts, you know, instead of going that way? Because my gut feeling was- One club, one club from North, two hearts jumpsuit from South, three hearts from North, prop. You see, then South doesn't know about that, that void in diamonds. She doesn't know how strong North's hand is. North was able to go to four no Trump because she was able to count five points for the void in diamonds. Okay, that's a good point. It's yeah. possible South might only go to four hearts and end it. I think North should be the one to say four no Trump because she knows her hand is much stronger than she had indicated before because she's got the void. Okay, mm. all right, I, 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 I can't. I got, I got I, it. That's it. I just want no, to. No, I'm not saying no to you. I'm saying I'm saying I'm not taking any more questions at the moment. Okay. I'm gonna go on to Gerber. And I'm not even gonna read the pages with you. I'm just gonna tell you.
quickly about Gerber and then we'll do a couple of hands and then I'd like to get into finesse. Hold the question, write it down. Maybe we'll have time at the end. I, I'm not trying to shut you up. I'm just trying to get you my, my stuff because I want you to learn it. All right, so we learned about Blackwood asking phrases. And I said, it's only when you have a suit, fit in a suit. But a lot of times you don't have a fit in a suit. And we know that if you don't have a fit in a suit, you end up playing a no trump. Well, you should end up playing a no trump if you don't have a fit in a suit. Well, let's say your partner opens one no trump and you're sitting there with, um, well, he's got 15 to 17 points and you've got 16 points of your own. 16, maybe 17. Remember, you're only counting high card points when you're thinking about no trump. Is there a possibility of a slam in no trump? Yes, the answer is yes. 33 points is slam. But you want to make sure you've got, especially in no trump, you want to make sure you've got the aces. In a suit contract, if you're missing an ace, maybe it could be trumped. But no trump is all about the high cards. So you can't use Blackwood because there's no agreement on a suit. So you use the Gerber convention for no trump. And it's the same thing. There's a bid that says, partner, how many aces do you have? And then there's responses that indicate no aces, one ace, two ace, three ace. Okay, yes? Yes. In, in the Blackwood, the question, how many aces do you have, partner, is made by the bid for no trump. In Gerber, it's made by the bid for clubs. So if you look at, at page 25, you will see the possible responses to a bid of four clubs. So Mickey says one no trump. I'm looking at 16 points in my hand. I know we have a minimum of 31 and a maximum of 33. So, so slam is possible, but I wanna find out how many aces we have. So if she says one no trump and my next bid is four clubs, what else could it mean? I'm not suddenly asking her about clubs. So if I say four no four clubs, she will respond with the next bid up the bidding scale. What's right above the bidding uh, in the bidding scale above four clubs? Four diamonds. Four diamonds. So four diamonds means I don't have any. Just like five clubs meant I don't have any in Blackwood. Four diamonds is I don't have any, or I have all four. You see the connection between this and Blackwood? It's just a different bid. Yes. Different it's, it's the next ones up the ladder. And it's also no trump instead of suit. But if I had one ace, I'd say four hearts. Four hearts. If I had two aces, I'd say four spades. And if I had three aces, I'd say four no trump. It's the next one up the bidding scale. So there it is. I mean, you have it on the paper in front of you, but here it is. All of these are a response to four clubs. Partner, how many aces do you have? I think we have slam in no trump. Now, I told you that if you think you have 37 points in Blackwood, you do something else. It's the same thing in Gerber. I'm not even, it's called asking for kings. I don't want to take time for that. I don't think you're going to be playing in a Grand Slam anytime soon. I'm happy if you play in set level six and make an extra trick. But if you ever want to see, what do I do? I think we have 37 points. I think we have all four aces. Should we play in seven? Just read what it says on the rest of the page. Okie dokie. Yes. All right. So just to... Just to kind of test your memory, you can unmute now, please, as long as you promise not to jump in with 6,000 questions. Uh, where we have a staff, me and my, pop, my partner and I, let's be grammatically correct. My partner and I have established a pit in diamonds. I think we have 33 points. Um, who can I pick on? Anybody want to be picked on? Carol, can I pick on you? I, I think we have a fit in diamonds. I say four no trump. Carol, you have one ace. What's your answer? Four diamond. 
Five diamonds. You say five diamonds, I hope. If I if I think we have three aces, I will go to six. If I think we only have two aces, I will pass at five diamonds. That's Blackwood. Now let's do Gerber. So I say, my partner has said, two no Trump is her opening bid, showing 2021 20, points, right? I've got 12 points in my hand. Isn't that fabulous? Yes. She's got 2021. 20, I've got 12 points in my hand. I don't see a big suit. I'm pretty balanced. She's pretty balanced because she opened a no Trump. But I think with her 2021 20, and my 12, we have an excellent shot at slam. So I am going to use the Gerber convention to ask her about the aces. She's not going to ask me about aces because she doesn't know I got 12 gorgeous points in my hand. I'm the one that knows that I have 12 gorgeous points. Yeah. So I'm the one asking for, for aces. But because it's no Trump, I'm using Gerber. So I say four clubs. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and, and she has three aces. I had none when I asked. I had 12 points in kings and queens and jacks. So I knew she must have aces somewhere, right? She opened two no trumps. She's got 20, 21 points. Yeah. She's not giving points <clears throat> to her sixes and sevens. So um, so she says two no trump. I say four clubs. Partner, how many aces do you have? I think four we may have spades. a slam and no trump. Please, please let me talk. She has... Three aces. Four. Somebody tell me what her response is. Four, four no Trump. Four, no, four spades. Four, no, four, four no Trump. Four no Trump. Four no Trump. Says it right on the paper. Right in front of you. Four diamonds, I have none. Four hearts, I have one. Four spades, I have two. Two. Oh, four I no Trump, I have three. Great. Five spades is I have three aces in, in uh, Blackwood. This is different. This didn't start at no Trump. This started at clubs. Remember, it's the next bids, four, yeah. next four bids up the bidding scale. Uh. Diamonds, hearts, spades, no Trump. Okay. So when she says four no, uh, four no Trump, I can say, okay, she's got three aces. I can go to six no Trump, right? If she had said, if I said four clubs and she came back, four diamonds, think about that. How many aces is she showing me? None or four. What do you think? Four. If I had none, what do you think she's showing me? I don't think she four. has none. She got to have four. four. She <laughs> has four point. aces. Yeah. So I can make a decision then if I want to push it and see maybe we have all four aces. Maybe we have the kings. Maybe we can go to slam, you know, grand slam. We'll see, maybe. Okay. So now that you understand the difference between Gerber and Blackwood, let's let's look at the hands on page 26. Are there, I will stop because you know we kind of ran through Gerber. Does anyone have any questions, not about how a hand is played, but how the convention Gerber is used? Yes, I have one. Yes. Okay. In your example, you had a one no trump opening and then possibly a jump. Uh right up we uh, we got up to four clubs, I think. Right That's because my partner opened one no Trump and I had 16 points. What happens if you open one no Trump and the betting goes along and you actually find a match? Bidding, bidding, not betting. Uh, that's what I meant. You know. Yeah. I know, I know. Really. And what happens yeah. if you go along and the bidding goes along and uh, they find a match after two bids? An In open, a suit? In a suit? After opening one no Trump, they find a match along the way. You, you tell me, what, what convention are they going to use if they found a match in the Well, suit? I would think it would be Blackwood. You would think correctly. Okay, so it's not an absolute. If you if 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 you open one no Trump, it doesn't mean you're going to use Gerber right away, do you? No. Does it? Okay. No. But I said Gerber, I gave an example of opening in no Trump. Gerber would be if you think you have a slam in no Trump, however the opening bid went. Yes. Okay. I got it. Blackwood would be if you think you have a slam in a suit because you have a suit contract and you have a, a fit in a suit, even if the opening bid was a no trump. Got it. That's what I think. Okay. Feel. All right. Thank so you. let's go to page 26. And that was a good question, Michael. Let's go to page 26 and let's look at hand number one. 
If South is the dealer, I'd like you to bid out this hand. South is the dealer, okay. Okay. And if you're gonna count out loud, that's fine. Just be used. Another minute, please. We'll go over the bidding. Just hand number one, please. Okay, South is the dealer. Does South have an opening bid? Absolutely. Do we agree that it's two no Trump? Yes. yes. Okay. <clears throat> and of course, West has what most people, oh no, West does not have a, a Yarbo. Sorry, West has a point. All right. Now, have I taught you Stamen and Jacoby? I've taught you Stamen, right? Yes. yes. If you use Stamen, North would not respond in no Trump or even by asking for aces. North would have to show that she has a four card major by saying three clubs. Remember that convention? You use clubs to say one. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Right. So if you use stamen, North would have to say three clubs and then it would get back to South and South would say three diamonds. I don't have any. I'm not, I don't have any, I don't have any four card major. And then it would get back to North and North would say, okay, if you don't have a four card major, we don't have a fit in a major suit. And therefore um, I'm gonna ask for aces because I think we have slam and no Trump. So if you use stamen, this is the way it would go. Two no Trump by South. I'm just forgetting about East and West. Two no Trump by South, three clubs by North, that's the convention when you say partner, you open to no Trump. I'm, I'm asking you if you have a four card major because I do. South would say three diamonds, three diamonds. I don't have a four card major. Remember D for diamonds, D for don't have. Sound familiar? Mm -hmm. It would go back to North and North would now say four clubs. And that's the only possible meaning that that bid would have. Why am I submitting clubs now when you, you know, all of a sudden, we just agreed that we don't have a major suit. I must be asking for aces. Okay, that's one way you get to a four clubs uh, Gerber bid. The yeah. other way is if you don't use stamen, South yes. opens two no Trump, North immediately goes to four clubs. 
immediately says, we have a fit in a mate in, um, in no Trump and we've got the points. How does she know they've got the points? Look what she's got. Six, eight, nine, 10, 12, uh, sorry, 12 high card points. Am I right? Yes. Eight, nine, 12 high card points. And my partner has 20, 21. I know that we have an excellent chance at a fit. Uh, I keep saying fit at a slam. So however you slice it, whether you use stamen first or not, North is eventually going to be the one to ask for aces. Why North? Because South already said everything she's got. She was very specific. Two no Trump, 2021 20, points, balance, tando, five card major. It's North that has that sweet little secret about her 12 points. She's the one who knows what's going on. She's the one that's got to ask for aces. So at some point, North is going to say four clubs. And what is South's response? Four spades. Four diamonds, I have none or, or four. Four hearts, I have uh, one. Four spades, I have two. Four no trump, I have three. South has two aces. She says four spades. As soon as North hears that South has two aces, she adds that to her one ace. She says, we've got three, good enough for me, six no trump. I have two, I have two questions on this problem. I'm gonna have to okay. wait. You can have to wait until okay. I ask the questions. Okay. okay, maybe I'll answer them. Okay. All right. So six no trump. Let's see if she makes it. Since no trump was bid first by South, West is gonna put go on lead first. If East was on lead, she would lead the ace of diamonds, right? You're leading against a, a slam. You have an ace, you take it. That's one trick. You hope for one more. West has no idea where that, that there's an ace of diamonds sitting in a partner's hand. So she does the normal thing, the typical thing that you do when you're leading against no Trump. You lead the fourth down from your longest and strongest suit. <laughs> she doesn't have a strong suit. She has to lead the longest one which happens to be spades. Nobody bids spades from her opponent. Maybe her partner has something. She leads the four of spades. Four of spades comes down on the table. What's your question, Michael? On, uh, it's not on the bidding. It's just on, on the thing. The pro I want to know is if you play stamen, and you, we were taught to play stamen by you most of the time, how could you not put how? In other words, you- You, you have it. I, what I do for you, is I give you tools. I give you bids that are part of, of um, Standard Bridge. I play every Friday night on the computer with, with a couple that never use a statement. And I've made a decision because I like them. And I've been playing with them for 150 years, but I'm gonna go along with them because they refuse to understand statement. They refuse to get it. Got it, okay. So, so and, the, and the last question is just refresh my memory. I might have forgotten. Do you, um, what do you call, do you, do you reevaluate re your hand after a match on a no trump? No, no, no trump is always okay. high card points only. That's it. Thank you. Okay. All right. Four of clubs, a uh, four of spades, sorry, goes down on the table. North puts her hand down on the table. South leans across this, the table and gives her a big kiss for that prettiness and counts her what? Winners. No Trump contract, you count your winners. Winners in spades, there are four. You can't take more than four tricks if you only have four cards in a, in a hand. Yeah. Right? You could try, yeah. but it's not going to work. All right. Four winners in spades, two winners in hearts, ace and king. That's it, baby. That is the suit you are going to stay away from. You're going to stay away from that because. If you play out your ace and king right away, woohoo, you've got two tricks. What happens if they get the lead? What are you going to do about their queen and their jack and their blah, 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 blah? It's called nothing. Stay away. They're going to push the hearts. Can't do anything about it if they push it, but you're not going to play cards and you're not going to play suits in which you only have two winners. The diamonds is a nice suit to push. Because once you push out their ace with your king, you've got the queen and the jack after that. By the time you get around to the nine and the seven, maybe there won't be anything left in their hands. You can make all those good. 
and the clubs. Unfortunately, you, you're wasting a winner, right? Because that jack is going to yes, be taken yeah. up by your by your ace or your king. Unfortunately, you've, you know, it would have been nice if you had another club in your hand, says South, to throw off on the queen of the jack and the dummy, but it is what it is. All right, so let's count that. That's four tricks and spades, plus two in hearts is six, plus at least two in diamonds is eight, plus uh, three in clubs is 11. Uh-oh, you need 12. Where are you likely to get the extra trick? The extra trick is likely to happen in diamonds. And as we see, you're gonna get that extra trick in diamonds. So let's watch what happens. She's gonna play the spade. You're gonna take it. It's gonna come around to you with the ace. And then you immediately push the suit that you have the most cards in. When you're playing in no trump, you immediately play that suit that you have the most cards in. You lead the king. West plays low, north plays low. Let's say East plays low. We'll, we'll try it both ways. She plays low, she plays high. Okay, your king won it. You play the two. West plays the six. You play the nine. You know you have the queen and the jack, right? So it's okay. Or West, or you play the, the queen, either way. East plays the ace. She's gonna come to hearts. That's her big suit. You're gonna take the trick in hearts and then you're gonna go back to diamonds. Play a low diamond. West plays a diamond. You beat it in the dummy. So let's say she plays the, the six, you beat it with the nine and you still have another diamond in the dummy to take a trick. So when you work this out, you'll see once you push out that ace, then you have three winners in the dummy because that nine is going to end up being good because look what West has. West has to throw off that 10 on either the ace, the king, or the queen, or the jack, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're going to end up making one of your diamonds in the dummy good, one of your little diamonds in the dummy. You will lose the ace of diamonds mm -hmm. and that's all you will lose. And how do you make all four spades good? just want to point that out to you too. You take the ace of spades. This is after you've made all your tricks and everything else. You take your ace of spades, play your king of spades. And then when you play your jack of spades, you beat it in the dummy with the queen. Because you have that additional spade in the dummy. And the only way to make it good is to beat your jack with the queen. And then you still have another spade. If you don't, if you play ace, king, jack, well, actually you do have another way to get to the dummy. If you forget to beat the spade, you play a low one on your ace of spades, a low one on your king of spades, a low one on your queen of spades, on your jack of spades, and then you can play a low heart to the ace of hearts in the dummy, and then you, then you can get to your other spade. Yep, that's confusing. Am I confusing you? I want you to, I, what I want you to see is that you have ace, king, queen, jack, 10, nine, eight of spades. And they're all the same. That eight of spades is just as good to you as the ace of spades. Because you've got everything else that's higher than that. So the way you play the spades is you, you start off with the spades in your hand. Play the ace of spades, then the mm -hmm. king of spades. Then when you play the jack of spades, what will you have left? You'll have the queen and the 10 mm -hmm. left in the dummy, right? You threw the nine and the eight off on the ace and king. So when you play the jack of spades, beat it in the dummy with the queen. And then you can still, you'll still have the 10 there. The reason for beating it is to get there to play that additional spade. I think you see it. I've said it about as clearly as I could say it. Yes. Okay, so that's how you make that hand. That's where your extra trick comes in. You've got the extra diamond trick. So you've got four tricks and spades, two tricks and hearts of six. Now you have three tricks 
in diamonds is nine and three tricks in, in clubs is 12. You all see that you have three tricks in clubs, right? Ace, king, queen. The jack is gone. Those are a funny race of king. Okay, next hand. West is the dealer. Please bid it out. I, 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 we have Okay, I'm giving you a little bit less time than normal because this was a very quick hand to bid. It should have been a very quick hand to bid. You should have had West opening at one no Trump. Right. Right? And North and South are not going to be bidding. They have nothing to bid. You should have East saying, oh, I have 17 points. My partner opened with a hand that shows 15 to 17 points. So together we have between 32 and 34 points. Yes? Yes. Absolutely, she goes right to four clubs. I hope you had that. Right to four clubs, he who knows goes. Partner, I know we have, a, we have an excellent chance of slam. You don't know what I've got. You showed me what you've got, but I have to tell you what I've got now, four clubs. No confusion as to what that means. You don't say one no Trump, four clubs, unless you're saying we have slam. South passes. West's response is four spades. Partner, I have two aces. Four diamonds, I have none. Four hearts, I have one. Four spades, I have two. This is Gerber, not Blackwood. Pass by North. He says, well, partner, if you've got two aces, I've got one. I'm going to six no trump and everybody passes. Did you all have six no trump as your final contract? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, since the no trump was first bid by West, the lead comes from, from tell me guys, who does the lead come from? North. North. North's gonna lead that ace of clubs. Even though it's no trump, she can't guarantee that they're going to actually ever lead clubs. Ace of clubs comes down on the table and everything is now good. So West makes her plan. She's to Clara. Ace of clubs is down on the table. She knows she lost that. Let's see if she lost anything else. Remember, you count your winners in no trump. So let's see how what her winners are. In spades, she has how many winners? Well, she's either got three or four, depending right. on if the jack falls or not, right? She's got the ace, the king, and the queen, and then she's got a little one. The way the spades are split, do you see how she's gonna get the jack? Yes. So on the first round, she'll take the queen, then she'll take the ace, then she'll take the king, and she'll have one spade left in her hand. She's gonna be good because after she plays, plays three rounds of spades, her opponents don't have any more. You see that? 
So that extra, that other spade is going to be good. But you know what? She doesn't know that now. For all she knows, somebody, one of her opponents is sitting there with four spades topped by the jack, in which case she loses the jack. But she knows she can count on three spade winners for sure. In hearts, she can count on four winners for sure. Right. She's got the ace, the king, the queen, and the jack. That's it. There's no way she can't get four. In diamonds, definitely three winners. It's possible she might end up losing the jack, but she can count definite three winners in spades, definite four winners in, in hearts is seven, definite three winners in diamonds is 10, and definite two winners in clubs. Do you see how she has definite two winners in clubs? Mm -hmm. So this hand is makeable and she will make it. As a matter of fact, once that ace of clubs comes down and she loses the trick, she could say, here, I win all the rest. Okay, easy peasy. That lead made it made it possible. Okay. Page, gonna try to get there was no deal. Could you just tell us what the deal is? On page 27. We didn't get to 27 yet. Oh, I thought you were doing that. I was hoping. We are, but what was the question? Who's the deal? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was trying to keep it a secret. Uh, let's have East be the dealer. And let's have North be the dealer in the second hand. All right, so with East as the dealer on page 27, please bid out the hand. Oh, this one's cute. This one is very, very cute. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Did you have a contract of six no Trump? You should have a contract of six no Trump. Let's see how it goes. East is the dealer. East opens two no Trump. Everybody see it? Mm -hmm. He has six, 12, uh, 13, 14, and five 21. is 19, and two is 21. 21 high card points, South passes. West says, well, if you've got 21 points, I've got six, 10, 11 points for you. I'm going to ask you for aces. He says four clubs. Yes. Right. East says four spades. Four right. clubs is how many aces do you have? In Gerber, four right. diamonds is I have none. Four hearts is I have one. Four spades, I have two. Four no trump, I have three. East is going to say four spades because she's got two aces, right? goes back to West and West says, well, if you've got two aces, I've got one. That's enough for six, no Trump. I'm bidding six, no Trump. And pass, pass, pass. Since no Trump was bid first by East, that makes West dummy, that makes 
South the lead and watch what happens. She's going to lead the ace of clubs because that's what you do. Her partner has a singleton king. Uh, it her. falls on her ace. And that's why she makes the contract. If North had another club, she plays low on the ace. Her partner plays back to her. She takes it with the king and the contract is defeated. Even though there are so many points here. So that is when, when that king falls, that is when East breathes a sigh of relief. Because Why you lead fourth from the longest and strongest? Because it's a, because as I said before a few times, you lead aces when you're leading in, in the suit contract. I'm sorry, in a, in a, a, a slam no contract. Time. You can't guarantee that they're gonna play your suit. Okay, you're I'm right. playing that ace. You're playing in six, I'm taking my trick. Okay. I'm taking my trick. In 99 out of 100 cases, that king is gonna take a trick. It's just because it's a singleton. It's just a very unlucky situation for, for South that that happened or for North, whoever you wanna look at it. Okay, so the contract is made because everything else is good. In North, this one I wanted to spend some time North is the dealer, and I will tell you now, North is gonna open one no trump. But what happens from there is gonna be interesting. Okay, take a couple of minutes and bid it out. Yes, it's on the bottom of 27. It's the second hand on 27. And then when we finish this hand, I would like to try to get to finesse. Right, I'm going to give you a few more seconds because this hand's a little complicated. Okay, I hope everyone's had a chance to bid to a final contract. How many of you had a final contract of six no Trump? How many of you had a final contract of something else? Because I did. I had six spades. 
I knew I had a feeling when you said there's a problem. I thought it was easy, and therefore I knew it wasn't. Okay, so let's let's use the conventions we've learned, and then we're gonna we're gonna count losers, winners. We're gonna see if you make both co contracts of six spades or six no trump. All right. So with North as the dealer, North opens one no trump. Perfectly legitimate bid. Doesn't have a five card major has a balanced hand, has 15 to 17 high card points. East passes. If you use stamen, which I encourage you to use because it's a pretty standard uh, convention, your bid would be two clubs, eight or nine points, right? You have eight or nine points and your partner open no trump and you have a four card major, you say two clubs. West passes and North would have to respond. What would North's response be to answer her partner's question? Do you have a four card major? Because I do. Gail, can I ask you, do you know what her response would be? What North would say? If you were North and your partner used two clubs after you opened one no Trump, do you know what you would say? Well, you have a four card major, right? You have to show it, but because you have two four card majors, you answer the one that's lower on the bidding scale. Two hearts. So two you'd hearts. say two hearts. Okay. It goes back to South and South says, well, hearts isn't gonna work for us because I only have three, but you know what? My partner might have four spades to go with those four hearts because she, was, mm -hmm. she answers the one, you know, with the one that's lower in the bidding scale. So I'm just gonna show her my spades and see if it works. So after North says two hearts, South says two spades, just in case she also had four spades. It gets back to North and North says, yep, that's the one, that's the suit, three spades. So now South knows, what does South know? South says, okay, my partner has 15 to 17 high card points. How many does South have? Five, seven, and six, oh. 13, 14, 16 points of her own. Right? There's certainly enough points for there to be a chance of slam, right? Certainly enough points for there to be a, a chance of slam. And there's a fit of eight spades. How does she know there's, there's a fit of eight spades? Because when South asked her partner, do you have a four card major? South, South um, told her about hearts. And then when she told her about, when South said, but I have four spades, North says, yeah, me too. She bid her suit. When you bid your partner suit, you're saying there's a fit. So now that North bids spades too, South says, okay, we have eight. We have eight spades and we have between 31 and 33 points. I'm going to ask her for aces. But is she going to use Gerber or is she going to use Blackwood? That's a question. I need you to answer me. Blackwood. Blackwood, because they found a fit in spades. So her bid is for no Trump. That's the Blackwood way of asking how many aces do you have partner? And what is North's response in Blackwood? Five hearts. Five hearts. Partner, I have two. Remember five clubs, I have none. Five diamonds, I have one. Five hearts, I have two. Okay, goes back to South. South says, you've got two, I've got one. I'm going for it. Six spades, pass, pass, pass. Who beat the spades first? South. Who's the dummy? North. Who's on lead? West. West. West has garbage. So spades is not a good lead. It's the Trump suit. Hearts is not a good lead. She knows North has four of them because remember North, North bid two hearts before? Doesn't want to lead to that. Diamonds is a possibility, but she's got six clubs. Why do you lead a club? I mean, her high card is a nine. Why should you lead a club? Because she's got so many 
there's a chance her partner doesn't have any. And then she could trump it. <clears throat> right? We know her partner's going to take the trick anyway because she's got the ace. So she leads a club. It almost doesn't matter which one, but let's have her do fourth down. Let's have her do the five. Five of clubs down on the table. North puts her hand down on the table. South counts her losers. Suit contract count your losers. In spades, any losers? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, she has the ace, the king, jack, and queen, maybe. but she might lose the jack if they're not split too well. In hearts, no losers. No. She's got the king, queen, and a little one in her hand, and the ace will take care of the little one. The ace and the dummy will take care of the little one. Diamond, same thing. Right. Ace, king, queen, only three diamonds. Clubs, there's your sure loser. Sure loser, nothing she could do. She can't throw off those clubs on a long suit. Remember we had that before where you threw off the clubs on something? She's going to lose the ace of clubs. And she's going to lose the ace of clubs right now because a club was led. Right? So she knows that she's going to lose that club. And she's hoping that the spade splits so she doesn't lose the jack. Because if she loses the jack of spades and the ace of clubs, there she goes. So when the five of clubs comes down on the table, she will play low from the dummy. Because just in case West had the ace and she didn't lead it, she's going to win the trick with the jack in her, in her hand. So she's going to play low. East is going to play that ace. She's going to grab it right now, and South will play low. So East is on lead. Should she play the 10 back? Her partner led it. Should she play the 10 back? The answer is no. She's looking at the dummy. She sees that king sitting right there. She's not going to lead a club back. What is she going to lead? I guess she'll lead a diamond. She's not going to lead a club. She's not going to lead a heart. She's not going to lead a spade. She'll lead a diamond. South will win it. And that's the only trick. That ace of clubs is the only trick that they're going to lose. You see it? Okay. If she played it in no trump, most of you said it had, had the contract in, in no trump, meaning you're not using stamen. So North would have opened one, one no trump, and South would have immediately gone, if you're not using stamen, South would have, have immediately gone to four clubs, right? I'm not looking for a fit in a major suit. I'm going to go to four clubs. Partner, how many aces do you have? It would have gone back to north. This is now the Gerber convention. How many aces does she have? Two. Oh, north, north has two aces. How do you show two aces in Gerber? Oh, I'm sorry? In Gerber, oh. there's no five. It's four. <laughs> Four, hearts. Four spades. Four spades. Four spades. Four clubs. How many aces do you have in Gerber? Four diamonds as I have none. Four hearts. I have one. Four spades. I have two. So North would have said four spades. South would have said six no trump. And on we go. Okay. Do they make six no trump? Let's count our winners. How many winners do they have in spades? They will have all four because that jack is going to fall. How many winners do they have in hearts? They have th uh, three winners in hearts. That's it. They're not going to get the jack. Three winners in hearts. So four winners in spades, three winners in hearts is seven. Three winners in diamonds is 10. And two winners in clubs. You see why they have, you see how they have two winners in clubs? Yeah. The king forces out the ace and then they have the queen and the jack. So that's still 12 tricks. So they make they make both six spades and six no trump. They make either one of those contracts. So there you go. I am going to mute myself for now because I need to answer that. Take a minute. I think she I think she meant read the next page. I didn't hear her. I didn't hear her either. I think she meant read the next page. So just after all, what's that's the next page.
Is there a question? I thought I heard somebody asking a question. All right, we only have two minutes left, so let me just show you. Did you did you get anything out of reading these pages about a finesse? Yeah. Maybe not. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Here's a situation where you would finesse. Got the queen, jack, nine, five, three in one hand and the ace, six, two in the other. And you're missing the king. And you don't know if the king is sitting here or sitting here. If you lead the ace, you will get a trick. But unless the king is a singleton, they will get the king on the next trick. Do you agree with that? Unless that king falls on your ace, you're gonna lose it next time you play that, that suit. So you try to finesse it. You try to get the, you try to squeeze the queen, the king out. So you don't lead from the strong, you don't lead from the high card, you lead from the lower one. You lead from the queen. If this guy plays the king, you beat it with the ace. And then you still have another one to get back to the jack. You see that? If he plays the queen, I mean, if you play the queen and he plays the king, you beat it with the ace. If he plays, if you play the queen and he plays low, could he still have the king and just play low? In which case you play low, hoping that he had the king and just didn't play it. So you lead the queen, he plays the king, you beat it with the ace. You lead the queen, he plays low, you play low, hope that he had the king and didn't play it. If the king is here, you lose it. You play the queen, he plays low, you play low, and he beats it with the king. But 50% of the time, the king is gonna be in the hand that you want it to be in. Because it's either this hand or this hand. 50% of the time, it'll work. We'll talk more about it next time. Okay, we'll have more. But read over those pages on finesses, look over the sample hands, I would like to get to, I'd like to spend part of the time next week going over finesses and then the rest of the time on what is supposed to be next week's lesson, which I have no idea what it is, the honor from the short side.